Welcome back to Player vs. Player. This is our second episode, and we've got some special guests here for Gen Con. We've got John Zinzer and Zev Schlesinger. This is Battle of Disease, right? Yeah. It's not Battle of... Appropriately named. Not Battle of Disease, but Battle of <laughs> the Zs. We'll see at the end. So we're going to follow the same format we did for the first episode uh, with a little tweaks. So we're going to try to keep it fun. We're not going to go any deep cuts and embarrass these guys. Hopefully not too much, anyway. They'll be embarrassed. So are you guys ready for the explanation of round one? I already gave you a little heads up, but I'll go over it again. For we audience. are ready. Yes. Yeah, so round one is going to be eight questions total. Yeah, we do have a live studio audience today. Woo! Big league. Um, so we've got seven questions, followed by an eight bonus question. Uh, the seven questions are going to be straight up trivia questions that you both can answer. You're going to be writing your answers on a whiteboard. You'll have about 15 seconds to answer them-ish. And then the eighth one is what we call the turn order challenge. That is going to be for the second round. Whoever wins the turn order challenge gets to either choose a point or first player marker for round two. If you choose first player marker, the other guy gets the point. So we're going to try to keep this tight. There's a bit of a catch up mechanic going on. All right, so. <laughs> and turn order is very important because it lets you pick the categories for round two. Yes, oh. we are drafting the categories in round two. So with that, gentlemen, are you ready? We yes. are ready. Excellent. All right, question number one, Jeremy. Question number one. Please look to the TV, if you so wish. The question is, in 1988, Milton Bradley published a board game based on The Legend of Zelda. What is the name of the character that is featured on this box? The, the main character or yeah, all the characters? the main character. The main character. Let's clarify, the yeah. main character. Write your answer down. John seems to be struggling with this question. Yes, he does. He looks. There's a little bit <laughs> of a struggle perplexed. on his face. I'll, I'll let you know, this is the first of the theme questions today. There's Zs in a lot of the <laughs> questions. I like it. All right, let's start with John, since you look so perplexed. I Zelda. Zelda. Zelda with a Z. That would be incorrect. Unfortunately, that's wrong. And what do you have? Zev. Link. That is right. I think we found the video gamer at the table. <laughs> we have a point. We have a point for oh, Zeb. 1-0. One, zero. Brother. One, zero. It's going to be a long, princess, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for question number two? Yes. We are. This is not a television question, so all you have to do is listen. We'll all be at Gen Con this week, and you guys are big shot publishers with busy schedules. But can you tell me this? On the last day of the show, when does the exhibit hall close? We're looking for a time. They both should He's hiding his answer from me because he knows. And please uh, put your answers in Eastern Standard Time <laughs> form. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the time zone we're in. That's just where to we are right now. Well, so, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> All right, who went first last time? John. So, Zev, what do you have? I have 4, 4 p.m. PM. That is correct. I have 4 p.m. Excellent. He's on the board, folks. These guys, yeah. these, these guys must keep their own schedules. <laughs> All right. Well, you said what time the hall closes. I quit working at 9 a.m. Well, that's why I think you guys might not know because you blow out of there probably at noon. Yeah. No, I, I think we've done so many shows. That one is, I, I think that was a softball. All <laughs> right. Ready for question three? Here's yes. question number three. How many Spiel de Jars have been won between Kramer and Keasley, either together or on their own? So combined in any so way, in any so way. Kramer and Kiesling, spill the jars. Got a little tougher, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you went from level one to level ten. And please, for all of you guys at home, play along. Yes. I, I, so I, many I, points I again, score here. we look up these questions, but please don't think that we know these off the and top it's of our heads either. Too. Yeah, it is. A little bit, I guess. I suppose. All right, all right five, four. I, I think three. Z is writing down the whole number. I think number. He's list, Z is listing every field. It's just a number we're looking for. <laughs> it's just a number. <laughs> okay. We'll start with uh, John this time. What do you got? I said seven. That is very close, but that's not right. What do you have, Z? I have four, but I really wanted to say five. It, well, was, it was six. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were all over it, but it was close enough. And the score is, what, two to one? Two to one. Two. Favoring Zev. In right. Battle of Disease. Question number four. Oh, he, got, he got points for that? No. No, I got the first one right. He got the first two right. Yeah. Oh, we got the first yeah, two yeah. right. Yes. Well, the first one, yes. We Do you want us to bring up Link again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, question four. Okay, this, this, is, this is a mouthful. Who said the following about one of your games, and one of either of your games, 
in their review in 2010. While I could get my wife to play Dominion, I wouldn't be able to get her to play this because she's not into the fantasy flavor. That was said in a review for one of your games. Who said it? I think We're so. looking for the reviewer's name. And it would be tied into one of your games. So think about your catalog. Maybe This, this is a struggle. This is, mm. It's a tough one unless you approach it from a different angle. All right, I think you're both Putting ink to board. We're putting Everyone ink to board ready? Board. Who's starting now, Zev? That'd be Zev. Zev, what do you got? <laughs> I'm going to say Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy is wrong. I, it wasn't your game, by the way. It's one of John's games. Yes. I think the game's Thunderstone, and I think it was Tom. It was that Tom. That was fantastic. Bassel. Congratulations. Right. Oh, you even got the game I didn't right. pick his wife. By the way, I, if yeah. you want to get a good look at Tom in his younger years, take a look at that video. Awesome. Wow. All right, ready for well question done. five? Well All right, question number five. Look to the TV one more time. Who is the lone video wolf game, <laughs> or renegade of the board game industry? Just looking for a first and last name. Who is the lone wolf or renegade of the board game industry? And to be clear, we want the name of the person with the less pointy ears. <laughs> That's a great picture. <laughs> that is a great picture of him. I, am, I think they're ready. I am misspelling the heck out of this. Uh oh. Thing. We'll start. We'll start with you, John. We won't deduct points for spelling. That is. Uh, that is Scott Gaeta. Scott Gaeta of Renegade Games, of course. Right. See Scott now that Gaeta. that Beautiful. was a softball. Yeah, that, that was a softball. is a that is a but softball. Boy, wouldn't it have been but brilliant would, if one really of you missed that? If it's, missed it, it is three to three. Oh, this is, neck and, this is neck and neck. Three to three. What are we? Are we ready for question six? We are. All right. I'm going to describe a game as though I am the game. All right. I am the 20th game on the BGG overall rankings for board games, and also happen to be published by one of your companies. What game am I? Does, the, does the game have more to say? <laughs> Please answer. I am, the, I am the 20th right now, the 20th ranked? Currently, as a time of filming, currently the 20th ranked game overall on BGG, and I belong to one of your companies. Overall rank 20 on BGG, I'm going to say. <laughs> I hope we got that by, right. by former <laughs> one or the I current we one? Did. No, we did. <laughs> Pretty sure we did. Mm. I'm not going to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Who wants yes. ready? Be so again. I'll say Pandemic. It is not Pandemic. <sighs> did one of you publish Pandemic? Oh, yes, you did publish Pandemic. Then it was, pandemic. then it's yeah. the other one. Uh. Uh, I'm going to say that it was either Castles of Burgundy or um, Dice Masters. <laughs> it is not. It is Mage Knight. Mage Knight. Mage Knight. Right, that's why Mage I was just Knight. current. In, right. yeah. uh. in fact, currently your top rated game on BGG overall. Yes. 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 All right. Question number seven. Once well, again, we're going to the TV. All right. Fair, this board fair. game, Interpretation of Zorro, was published in 1991. But the actors have been portrayed in movies by a countless number of them. Name two of those actors. Oh my god. Two actors that are portrayed. I can't wait to see if so they answer a particular one names. from my childhood. Uh, yeah, um, I know who you're talking about. You're probably, right? One. Yeah. There's I saw that in the theaters. <laughs> I did too. I did too. I was shocked when researching this how many people have played Zorro, by the way. It is a long list. Really? Must be a very long John one. is writing the script to the next <laughs> Zorro film, actually. <laughs> That's a man who's given up. I think John, <laughs> John might be writing an insult to me, I think, right now. We're going to let this go. Uh, it's a little unorthodox, but I'm... I'm All right, there we go. I'm ready. What do you have, John? <laughs> Uh, I, I said uh, Antonio Banderas and the guy who plays the Crispy Colonel. On the, the on the Kentucky Fried Chicken what commercials? He, he did. Oh, he did. He did. He did. You know what? What do you think, yes. judges? I think we should give yeah, it wait, to wait, him. Wait, wait. Can, can we give him like the first name and see if he can get the last name? Is that, well, that it would... might be one of his. But no, yeah. go, ahead, go ahead, Zeph. That's fine. 
George Hamilton. George Hamilton. <laughs> there you go. I, I, I did not Zev, have that. We're going to leave it, leave it to you. Dickens. You can show mercy or not. Should he get it or no? He knew. He okay. knew. Okay, all right. Was. Fair enough. He you knew both get the point for each. You guys are still yeah. tied. Yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. Never let it be said, said that Zev wasn't a nice guy. Now, also in the, in the movie, you could have also used uh, Anthony Hopkins because he was the Zorro that That's right. Wow. That's right. I had no idea we had such a Zorro aficionado here. I'm a film buff. All things Z. Of course. Of course. Turn order challenge. Seven. It is the turn order challenge. Are you guys ready? Are you familiar yes. with Stefan Feld? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to give you some categories that you're going to have to go back and forth and name one thing, and then the other guy's going to go. So, for instance, if I did say Stefan Feld, one of you could say Castles of Burgundy, and then the other one would have to name a game. And you go back and forth until someone hits empty, can't answer it. If the other person's answered more than them, they win the round. Uh, or this this question, and you get to pick either first player marker for round two, or get the point for the question. All right. So your categories are kind of a dual category here. Zev, you're going to be listing AEG games. John, you're going to be listing WizKids games. So we really hope to embarrass both of you, if not at least one of you. So uh, the score is, oh, it's four, four to four, but I'm going to give the tiebreaker to Zev since he gave you a mercy point. More than fair. No. <laughs> Zev, so you're going to go first here. You can start by naming one of John's games. And oh, by the way, you're, you're, it's up to you guys to keep each other honest, because we didn't yes. list all these games down on this paper. OK. Uh, I'll start off. Uh, do I write them down? Or nope, do I? Just, no, just say them. Uh, uh, Thunderstone. Uh, Dice Masters. Legend of the Five Rings. Is Dungeons and Dragons minis a game? The minis, no, but there is a game with minis from Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> By the way, John, we ask the questions. <laughs> <laughs> is there a game with mini? Is D and D minis an acceptable answer? Um, uh, it's an acceptable question. <laughs> uh, wow, I'm totally blanking. I should. Um, yeah, I'm out. Would you like to help him, Zev? I'm out. Uh, He's out. What? Already? Zev? Think, think of the, the adventure system games since you're thinking D&D minis along the lines of Castle Drist, Rosh of a, Wrath of a Shaldalan. We did two. You know, I asked for you guys to send me a big box of swag about a year ago, and I didn't get anything, and I think that that's that really affecting me. my no. ability I think to... This is, gonna turn in, <laughs> this is going to turn into a you physical al me. altercation here in a second. <laughs> John, you answered one. Zev, you answered two. You won this, so you get your choice. Do you want a point, or do you want to go first in round two? Uh, I will take the point. All right. Good. So it is now five Good to choice. four. <laughs> John, you get the chance to go first in round two. <laughs> Round two is going to be categories. You're going to draft one of the categories. You'll immediately answer one question from that category. And then the other player will go, and we'll go back and forth until you've answered three questions. And on your fourth question, it's the same thing, but you'll have a chance to answer a press your luck question. Also remember, at any time, you can answer the question outright for two points, or you can request multiple choice options. But that is only going to get you one point if you answer correctly. Last thing. If you answer incorrectly, either with two points or one point, the other player will get a chance to steal either the one or the two points. Are we ready for the categories? We are ready for yes. the categories. All right, look behind you. And we will go through all eight of these. Never's I think, yeah. Oh. First category is awards. Category number two is Gamma. Three is Gen Con 2018, which could be a variety of different topics. Number four is AEG. That's if you're going to go. Easier. If you're going to go first, John, that might be a good pick. I'm just <laughs> or saying. might not. Whiz Kids is the next category, followed by content creators. Those are the beautiful people who make YouTube videos about board games. Uh, two of them are standing right here. After that is famous Z's like yourself. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of famous Z's. There are famous Z's. Final is classics. So, John, with those categories. And there's only one question per category, so we will, it'll be off the board once you've picked it. I'm going to go with uh, Famous Z's. Famous oh, Z's. Wow. Did not expect that one. <laughs> All right, question number one. <clears throat> Please look to the TV. You got all the TV questions today. I know. Today. I, I organize it that way. <laughs> the question is, Zach, or Zachary, is regarded as the popular name uh, that starts with the letter Z. Everyone's favorite Zach, Morris, is featured and Saved by the Bell board game. Name at least two other characters that are featured on that box. Wow, Screech. 
So you're going for the two points. Oh. Um, I don't know anybody other than Screet, so I should not go for the two points. <laughs> I'm going to go with the multiple choice, please. The so multiple choice is going to be worth one question, and I'll let you know. And under this multiple choice, you only have to pick one. So you've, you're going to uh, luck out here, although Screech is not on the list. <laughs> multiple choice it is? Yes. All right. A is Mr. Building, B is Jesse, C is Kimmy, and D is Taylor. I'm going to go with Jesse. You're right. That would be correct. That would be correct. You get a point. Can, can you point to Jesse? Boom! That man's watched some Saved by the Bell, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think I watched some of her later work, actually. <laughs> oh! Oh! All right. Comment. So, you got one point there, and the score is five, now five. five to five. Zeb, over to you. Famous Z's is off the table. Uh, let's go classics. Classics. They're both avoiding their own category. I know. I don't I understand think it's that. Interesting. Seems like easy points. So in classics, here is your question. Remember, multiple choice is a possibility for you. What game first released in 1965, with a new edition in 1971, had a TV advertisement ending with the memorable phrase, "I'm the sole survivor." And I'll remind you again, you do have multiple choices and options. I don't remember this one. This is 65? Yeah. Uh, I'll take the multiple choice, please. Multiple choice. That sounds like someone in our crowd knew the answer. <laughs> yeah. Multiple choice. A, clue. B, survive. C, stay alive. D, hidden islands. Oh boy. I'll, I, I'll, I'll go survive. Survive is not correct. It is the Milton Bradley classic, Stay that's, Alive. That's when I had a chance to steal. No, we didn't get a chance oh, to steal. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot it again. That's all right. You knew because, that? Because you gave you me that? A, I, Did you know you it? Yeah, it, it was one of those two. No, you no, 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 no. Did I did you? not know it. Oh, I would have oh. been, been flipping a coin. So. Okay. Oh. My bad, my bad. Earlier, I, I did that last time and I did it again. All right. John, it's up to you. Classics is off. The board. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> Deservedly so. I like John using the whiteboard the way he is. <laughs> it might be worth a bonus point. John, it is your pick. Nice. It's my pick. It is your pick. Uh, I am going to go with, um, I'm going to take the easy points off the board. I'm going to go with WizKids since I did so well on the yeah, WizKids yeah, challenge yeah. earlier. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> WizKids. Where is that one? I'll right. go immediately to multiple choice, please. <laughs> Whiz, Whiz Kids. The fourth edition of this game will, re will be released at Gen Con 2018. And, is, and Whiz Kids is not ashamed to say that it sucks. What game is it? <laughs> multiple choice, please. Should I reread the questions with a more emphasis towards Maybe, them? maybe with an, uh, some air quotes. Okay. And Whiz Kids <laughs> is not ashamed to say that it it sucks. sucks. Would it be A, Mage Knight, B, Coyers, C, Fury of Dracula, or D, Tic Tac Toe? I'm going to go with Fury of Dracula. Very good. You get a point. Wouldn't you uh, say that? That was well done. Okay. The air quotes helped. All right. So you got a point. Zev, it's back to you. What category do you want? Six to five. John's uh, in the lead. All right. Let's John's go with AEG. AEG. Yes. All right. The DICE version of this Kennerspiel classic was recently released and is not a spiritual successor to Constantinople. What game is it? Um, Istanbul. Very good. <laughs> you guys are shocked. I Istanbul, the dice <laughs> game, would be the correct dice game. We'll, we'll no, accept no, that. No fanfare? No. <laughs> well done. Well done. That was like, oh, that was like, it is the Istanbul dice, dice game. Istanbul, the dice game. The dice game. Oh, Very well, fun yeah, game, by the way. Yes. All right, John. Back to you. It is, oh, it's back and forth. Zev's in the lead now by one. So it's, and it's Zev's pick. Oh, I, I, That's I, your pick. Uh, I'm going to go with um, Gamma. Gamma. All right. Gamma question. As you know, Gamma is the Game Manufacturers Association. But do you know what year Gamma was founded? Wow. <laughs> I'm going to go with AEG. <laughs> um, uh, multiple choice, please. All right. 1973, 1975, 1977, or 1979? Hmm. 
we decided to, not to go day and month. 73, 75, 77, or 79? I am going to say 75. That would be incorrect. Zev, would you like to steal? So if I get it wrong, I, do I lose the point or I just... No. no. So there's no reason not to try? Sure. Right. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say 79. It's 77. 77. Oh. No points for either of you. Zev, you are up. Uh, let's try... Uh, let's go awards. All right. Awards. awards. Awards for all the marbles. Awards. We all know Azul won the Spiel des Arts this year, but did you know that for the last five years, only two of the five winners did not start with the letter C? Name either of those two games. So for the last five years, only two of the games didn't start with the letter C. Name those two games. Uh, one of the two or both games? One of the two you said? Name either of those two. Okay, so either. Um, I will say, I'm going to go, I'll try for the two-pointer. Uh, Hanabi? Yes. Ooh. Suddenly nine to six. We would have also accepted King Domino. Oh, that was recent, yes. All right. <laughs> Your fourth <laughs> question, John. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Your fourth one. You either have content creators or Gen Con. I'm going to go with Gen Con. All right. Gen Con 2018. How many Gen Cons have been held, including this year's? They had a big one last year, right? Last year was a big one. <laughs> what? It's like he, all of a sudden, a couple of junior high kids got up at the table. I'm going to uh -oh. go, go multiple choice. All right, Darn multiple it. choice. Is I don't it, know if this is going to make it any easier. Was it 51, 55, 60, or 62? 51. That would be correct. You get one point. You're now two points behind. And you would threw me off by shaking your head. <laughs> So now's your chance for a bonus question. You got it correct, so you can press your luck and answer this next question. This next question will be worth two points if you get it right. If you get it wrong, you won't get those two points, but you'll lose the point you just got as well. And it's 9-7 right now? Yeah, and Zev doesn't have a chance to steal on this one. And this is about the same topic? Nope, this is totally random. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Name a Dice Tower contributor other than Tom, Sam, or Z? I am so bad with names. We will take a first Tower name. contributor. Well, what? So we will take just a first name. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The Colonel Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a point. I actually enjoyed the fact that he knew the Colonel the Crispy guy. I, uh, I feel like I am going to say... He's going to randomly just say a name. <laughs> and it's going to be right. It's a blank. Uh, shoot. I'm going to go with Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Is there? A, can we check with the judges? Is there a Bill? <laughs> judges, studio audience? <laughs> Is there a Bill that works for the yeah, Dice If tower? there's even a William, we're not going to give you the point. That's Sorry. totally fine. All right, so you lost your Back point. Back to six. It's yeah. nine to six. Back to six. I like, I like the guts that you had. To yes. go for it. I, Content creator. I thought maybe you go John. I mean, <laughs> okay, Zeb, this is your last question, and this is in content creators. Oh, yes. Okay. Right. And this is a question near and dear to our heart. One of ours, anyway. Before Man vs. Meeple, Jeremy published videos called Components Breakdown. Under what name did he publish those videos? And you remember, you can go multiple choice. Uh, I'll do multiple choice, please. All right. A, Jeremy. B, Dragon Strike. C, Fire Mage. D, DJ Juicy Jeremy. <laughs> Ooh, that would be very nice. So he still has this BGG title. That's why I went for the one point. I didn't think it was a two point answer, but I'll say Dragon Strike. That is correct. One point. A one possible point. Yes, you do have the chance also to press your luck and get two more points, but you may lose the point that you just got. Just put this thing way out of reach. <laughs> get after it, Zeph. Come on. Sure, let's go for it. You're going for it. Let's okay. Go for it. Oh, this will be interesting. Uh, what is the last name? This is also in content creators, by the Ooh. way. 
What is the last name of either Marty or Tony from Rolling Dice and Taking Names? Just one of their last names. And unfortunately, no multiple choice here for you. I can smell that one point disappearing. That was way harder than that my was, question. Yes, that was. Way uh, I know everyone Marty knows Bill. interviewed me, <laughs> man. It was Chaz. It's the power of going first Chaz in the next and round. Chaz and Marty. Um, the only name that comes to me, the only last name, I'm going to say Rollins. No, that is not correct. So Marty Rollins. It's no. Marty Connell okay. or Tony McCree. <sighs> We still love you. Yes. Yes. We may not have known your name. We don't mean we do to embarrass you. embarrass you guys in front of content. <laughs> no, I do. I do the first nine to six going so, into the final yeah, he, round. Yeah, he lost the points from the other questions. So. Yes, he did. Round three. Round three. Okay, round three is going to be a quick round. Here's what we're going to do. I'm, it's going to be sort of a wordplay game. So I'm going to say a phrase that represents a game. So, for instance, back to my Feld examples, I would say palaces of red. If that's your phrase, you'd have to answer correctly by saying castles, castles of, of Burgundy. Burgundy. There you go. You get the idea? Yes. These can include uh, connections like that. They could be translations, all sorts of different things. The other thing to know about this uh, round is whoever's in last place is going to continue answering questions until they are not in last place. The first question mm -hmm. of your three questions is worth two points. The second question is worth three. And the last question is worth five. So it's going to give you a chance to swing the lead in your direction, John, in this case, Wonderful. and then put Zev in the corner where he has to answer some questions. Nobody uh, puts right. baby in a corner. <laughs> so we'll start off with you, John, since you are behind, and your first one is going to be about your game. This is one of your games. And it is called Battle Box. What would that game be? Warlord. That is wrong. War chest. Battle, box, box to chest. Does box oh. refer to a lord? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I am. I am absolutely <laughs> wrong. Thank you. But I'm playing the, playing this round incorrectly. So you're still three behind. So if you yes. answer this question correctly, you'll tie it up. If you've tied it, it's going to go over to Zev. So you Great. just have to meet his score or exceed it. Great. This one is a Euro game. Great. It's a very popular Euro game. Castles of Burgundy. And, older, <laughs> and an older Euro He's game. He's going without the clue. This one is called Rock Maturity. Rock Maturity. You know the answer to this one, don't you, Zap? I think so. <laughs> I do not know the answer. What is it? Stone Age. Stone Age would Stone be Age right. Stone Age is correct. No points awarded to either of you. Last one here. So this is your last chance. If you don't I, answer this correctly, Zeb is the winner. And we may not even get the chance to ask him his question. I know. Do you want so, to ask him his questions first? Because no, no, the chance no. Of me not Go ahead. The we'll we'll, we'll this do question. it for the blooper reel. <laughs> All right. So this game has won numerous awards, and it is a game, and it's the big. And in fact, it is a Spiel des Jahres winner uh, among the years that that award has been given out. The big. The big. I'll give you one more hint. <laughs> you want to think translation in this respect. <laughs> Uh, and, and what is the other okay. end? For, you want to think of translation uh, to get this one correctly. And I promise I those of you is. watching at home, we're not <laughs> writing the answer on board showing him uh, off to the side right now. Uh, Looking to the studio audience for help. <laughs> They're all shaking their heads too. Yeah, we, don't, we haven't instituted the phone a friend. I think John is probably... I think he's throwing in the white I think he's, flag. he's effectively <laughs> drawing a white flag on his whiteboard right now. <laughs> Any guess? Uh. The big. <laughs> that wins. The one true Z. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Should we answer? It's, it's El Grande. El Grande. El Grande. Oh. Literal translation of the big. Oh, that's right. Yes. A game well played, though. Yeah, we, we promised we, we didn't fix the game. Uh, it was a pretty good match, I'll say. <laughs> Uh, between the Z's, and I think John conceded that Zev is the true Z and the champion of the he game. He is the true Z. He earned player the Z-Man title for yet another year. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll be back with at least another episode with some of our Gen Con guests. Uh, we'll see you next time.